So what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Nocturnal. I've been trying to drop this video for quite some time. I don't know why I just didn't get to it, but today I'm getting into it. I'm giving you the top five nightclubs in New York City 2022. So this year there's going to be some change ups to the list. I'm pretty sure I'm removing two nightclubs from the list in 2021 because you know what? Things have gotten a little bit back to normal. There have been some new clubs. There have been some new additions. And you know what? This list is fluent. It's a fluent list. So in this list, I did not include stuff like the Pauls, Gold Bars, Gospel, the clubs like that, the Blonde. Because you know what? You're probably not getting in if you don't live in the city. So you know what? I figured, eh. Do you really need to know? So without further ado, let's get it started with number one, Little Sisters. So Little Sister, absolutely thumping club. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whenever they throw down, it is going to be lit. Everybody there looks good. Their music is bumping. The lighting is intimate. It is definitely a vibe, and it definitely is worthy of being number one in the hottest club in New York City. The thing you want to know about Little Sisters is it is not easy to get in. Women dress your best. Men prepare to spend money. That will be the only way that you are getting in. Now, number two on this list is a little easier to get into. It is called Tao Downtown. Now, when I say easier to get into, it is still not an easy club to get into. No clubs on this list, I'm going to say, are easy to get into. Tao Downtown is currently open five days a week. Mondays, booming. Thursdays, ain't too bad. Fridays, a whole lot better. Saturdays, packed. Sundays, packed. And now you're thinking, Sundays. They started a new Sunday party, and it's one of the best in the city. It is rivaling harbors, and you know what? I might give the slight edge to Tao Downtown right now as of this recording. Make sure you guys check back if you guys are watching this video months later, because it is New York City. Everything changes. It's very transient. But before we go any further, make sure you guys give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help this channel grow if you made it this far, and your boy would really appreciate it. Now, let's get into number three. Catch. So I really like Catch. And I know Catch is a rooftop and not a club, but you guys really just want to know where is the best place to party in New York City. So that's why I threw it on this list, and Catch definitely does not miss. This is a spot where it's going to be quality over quantity, very similar to Little Sisters. They're going to have some models there. They're going to see some celebs there. They're going to be low-key. They're going to be doing their own thing. Do not bother them. But with all this, Catch is going to have a slightly harder door. Okay, shout out my man George at the door. He's doing a phenomenal job. Catch is that spot. Definitely if you are a girl, this is a must-see. If you like a little more elegance, a little more upscale, Little Sisters, Catch, those are the spots you're going to want to check out. Those are very, very, I want to say women friendly. So if you're a guy and you want to get into Catch, good luck. I hope your girl looks really good. Or I hope you and your boys have some deep pockets because it probably is going to cost you a table to get in. So coming in at number four, Nebula. Nebula Nightclub. So I did a video on Nebula Nightclub. I'll link that in the description below. Make sure you guys check that out where I go a little more in depth. But Nebula's popping. They got that Tuesday party that's big. Tuesday Baby Tuesday. So that really is what landed that on this list. So Nebula wasn't on this list last year when I made it because Nebula was too new. But it has definitely shown me that it deserves to be in this top five. And it is coming in at number four. Nebula is a can't miss if you love high energy clubs. Nebula does also offer tickets so you could get in. This is also not going to be a club with super hard doors. You're going to get in. Nebula is the EDM club. Tuesday is the hip hop night. Tuesday Baby Tuesday. Friday, Saturday, they'll bring in big acts. It is a massive venue you know what i mean it's real big like marquee level big and you know it's just a little more newer since it just opened they got a stage so you can watch them this is definitely a venue where it is quantity and if you like music you like to rage you like high energy this is the spot where you're going to want to be at so coming in at number five marquee nightclub so marquee has been around for forever Ever. They are open on Wednesday, they're open on the weekends, and you guys know your boy loves partying on the weekdays. That is my favorite time to go out. Their Wednesday parties, their hip hop night, their open format night. They bring out big artists sometimes for that. I saw Sheck West there recently, you know what I mean? And it was a zoo, it had really good energy there. But also on the weekends during the EDM open format nights, people get wild there. It is a great time. Marquee is definitely a spot that you need to check out in New York City. Now, 
I'm going to give you guys a few honorable mentions. So some clubs that just did not make my list, but they deserve to be on there because I gave you a few clubs with some really hard doors. So you know what? I'm going to give you some other clubs where it's a little easier to get into. So you know what? So everybody can be covered. So I have an honorary mention to Bounce. I like Bounce. I really like Bounce. I almost put Bounce at number five, to be perfectly honest with you. But sometimes Bounce can, I want to say, be inconsistent at times. But when Bounce is on, Bounce could, bounce could easily be number four on this list. When Bounce is hitting, Bounce is whoo. But for me, a few times when I've gone there, it's been kind of eh. And then other times, when it's high, it's high. When it's low, well, it's, it's, it's gone to low. That's my love-hate relationship with Bounce, but I definitely like Bounce. And they offer tickets sometimes, so it's not that expensive. Sometimes it's more cost-effective. I know when they had 50 cents there, they had lines around the corner, down the block. If they're bringing on a celebrity that weekend, that day, definitely worth checking Bounce out. Also, during football season, Bounce is a sporting club. Any big sporting event, whether it's the Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl, the NBA Championships, March Madness. If it's a big sporting event, this is definitely the spot where you're going to want to be. And my last honorable mention is going to be Harbor Nightclub. I know this made the top five list last year, but it got edged out this year. But Harbor does a lot of things. They have a brunch on Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes Harbor has pop-up day parties. Their nightclub. There's a lot of stuff going on in that venue. Harbor Sunday party, they'll bring out really big names. Offsets, the Cardi B's, Fabio. You know what I mean? They'll bring out big hip-hop acts. And when they're bringing out these big acts, a Meek Mill, something like that, that is when this is going to be the club you want to be at on a Sunday. When it's a big artist like that, Harbor is going to be that spot. When they don't have a big artist like that, I personally think Tow Down Town is a little bit better. But Tow Down Town is also a newer party, so it's fresher. So you know what? Only time will tell. But as I told you guys early, this list is fluent. This is New York City. Anything can happen. But my name is Mr. Nocturnal. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. And let me know your top fives. What is your favorite clubs in the city? And my name is Mr. Nocturnal. And until next time.